Hi, welcome to today's video. This is the final step in our 3D printed clapperboard project. And today what we're going to do is we're going to finally join all the parts together using acetone to glue the ABS. Uh, acetone only kind of like works with the ABS because it melts it and then the acetone evaporates and the layers become one. Or so I'm led to believe. But we're going to find out today. So, what are we going to need? Well, we're going to need our 3D printed parts. So let's just recap. We should have two parts like this. We modeled them up in the first stage. We should have two parts like this. We printed them out in the second stage and, and switched the, the, the color halfway through. And we should have two parts like this. Now, I can only hope that your parts don't actually look like... Uh, I'm trying to find out where to hold it so you can see. I can only hope... Ah, there we go. Hope your parts don't look like this because my parts look really horrible on the front face. Now, that is purely down to me messing with the temperatures of the extruder to try and get the first layer to stick to the glass properly. Can you see? The first layer is actually quite nice. The final layer is actually quite not. It's horrible. Um, even on the white, I don't know if you can see. No, you probably can't. Even on the white, it's not very good. It's not as bad as the black. Um, some people have said that black filament is a nightmare to print out. So we'll see how that goes. But you need them six parts and you're going to need some other bits and pieces. We are, of course, going to need a jar of water. No, it's not water, it's acetone. Yeah, acetone is a clear liquid. It's in a glass jar because it tends to melt most plastics. Um, yeah, you've got to be careful with it. It's not nice stuff. We're going to need a paintbrush to apply the acetone. <laughs> oh, dear me. This paintbrush I got off eBay. Um, let's just see if you can see what it is. Can I, I can't even see what's going on. No, you probably can't even see that. No, this camera's rubbish. What it actually says is major brushes, number 18. Um, I bought it off eBay. There was a set of four for about a quid. And it just was listed as a child's paintbrush. So I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know what the bristles are made out of. Um, but I do know that it didn't get melted by the acetone. You're going to need some spring clamps like this. These have got little movable things on the front just to keep it level. And as you can see, you know, it doesn't, they're not really super strong, but they're strong enough to hold the parts together. And what I also like to use is a, one of these. It's a, um, a, a nail file type emery board thing. Uh, you can use a file or a sandpaper or whatever you want. I tend to buy these off eBay for finishing the plastic parts because it's really good. It's rough on one side and not so rough on the other. And it takes the ABS down really nicely. It, it's nice and quick. You don't get kind of like a horrible rough edge or anything. I mean, let's just have a look here. Let's see if you can see. There you go. I'm looking at the screen, not at the camera. I apologize. But that's the kind of edge you get. It's not even focusing. So, ow. I use them because they're cheap. <laughs> Basically, I'm not trying to say anything about this channel, but they're cheap. But uh, yeah, that's it. So that's what you're going to need. Um, you're also going to need a well-ventilated area because acetone's not good for your lungs and it's not good for your brain. Uh, if you breathe in the vapors, you're going to end up pretty sick. It's not the nice stuff, so please don't do it in your kitchen. You know, if you can, go outside. If it's a sunny day, go outside. If you've got somewhere else, like a shed, to use it. Open the doors, open the windows. Make sure everything is well-ventilated because this stuff is nasty. So, I think that's pretty much it yeah so what we'll do is we'll move to a well ventilated area and we'll get started okay so this part of the video is going to be played kind of fast forwarded because it's pretty boring really just watching me brush acetone on stuff um yeah it does transfer some acetone onto the brush um and it will discolor the acetone but basically the idea behind this is brush a decent amount of acetone on use the clamps to hold the parts together and um line the edges up so that it, it it all lines up pretty well uh you need to be careful as you can see i've got some black abs transferred from the acetone onto the white parts but we'll deal with that later on we do exactly the same with these larger parts you know we just literally brush on a whole ton of acetone you've got to be very careful with this stuff because if it gets on the front of the part it will melt the front of the part and i don't want to do that on this part particularly you can use it to smooth parts but i don't want to do it i just want to use it to to glue and i found that two layers of acetone is enough to give you enough time to um 
put the parts together, line them up, and put the clamps on. Uh, once you've put the clamps on, you still can move the parts around a bit. Um, but uh, there you go. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes once the acetone has evaporated and the parts are bonded. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one clamp off here and I'm going to get this hinge section. I'm going to make sure it's the right one and I'm just going to acetone weld this one on. So we literally just paint some acetone in this little square and we paint some acetone on the main part of the hinge part and we put the clamp back on. Yeah, put the clamp back on. No, no, put the clamp on. That's it. And then push it in position. Okay. So it's been in about five minutes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the clamps off these parts just to check to make sure that all of the edges are bonded. Uh, yeah, that's that black part. I'm just giving it a bit of a rub to see if I can get the black off. It, it does come off. It just takes a few minutes. You don't want to rub too hard because you rub through the layers of the white. Um, we'll make sure that all of the parts are as we want. We'll put the uh, the arm, I'm going to call it, onto that hinge. Um, there's a little bit of a problem where the acetone's melted, so I'm just going to give it a rub in the very corner just to make it a square corner again. And uh, once that's done, it sits in there quite nicely. It, it moves quite nicely. And there's just the final hinge part to go on. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm not going to get the acetone right up to the top. I'm just going to put it down in the bottom bit. You'll see what I mean in a sec. There you go. So you put a couple of bits of acetone on there. Put it on the uh, on the mating part, and then off them up. Put the clamps on, and push it into position. And we're going to leave that for a couple of minutes and let it go off. So it's been about ten minutes now since I uh, acetoned the final part. Um, we've moved back into into the recording room, uh, away from the well, well ventilated area because it was pretty cold in there. To be honest, with all the doors open, but uh, as you can see, I'm going to take these two clamps off go um we'll just take a quick look you can see down the spine where the the acetone has slightly melted this melted the abs and yeah, along the bottom is the same so we probably want to take the old emery and just give it a quick quick rub this doesn't take two seconds Down the back. There we go. What about along the top? And this gap here and this gap here. We'll give that a quick rub too. Now I can only assume that it's going to get better overnight when the acetone completely evaporates out of it. But um, at the minute, there it is. It's absolutely solid. And uh, works fine. And it's creating nice spikes and audacity. So let's just uh, let's just give it a, a quick a quick shot. Oh, that's lovely. So there you go. There's one. Oh, it's it's loosened up quite nicely. I can imagine with more use, it's gonna it's gonna loosen up even better. I'm really pleased with that. that, that that's really gonna help. Oh, the more use it's getting, the the, the better it's working. To be honest, um, I can only imagine that with more use, it'll just become very slack but yeah it creates a nice noise of just annoyed you all with the sound and it's creating lovely spikes in the audio software for the microphone so that's it i'm really pleased there is a 3d printed clapperboard from design concept through to 3d printing through to manufacture um stay tuned for more 3d printed and other i'm going to say other let you think about that for a little while uh projects that i'm going to do in the future um i have joined the local maker space here in uh, in the northeast of england and um the guys there are amazing they have uh, kind of encouraged me to get into arduino programming so there'll be a whole ton of that coming in the future um there'll be a whole ton of 3d printing coming and there's more projects in the pipeline so as usual please like comment and subscribe i've been steve thanks for listening